What's up niggas, Etika from the Etika World Network here and if you guys are like me, the hype for Super Smash Brothers is making you to the point where you can't sit down in your seat quietly anymore without exploding every couple of minutes. I'm at that point right now so what I've been using to withstand my orgasms is Super Smash Flash 2. This game has been amazing in curbing my Smash desires just because you know it kind of gives you a feeling of playing with new characters while at the same time being true to the Smash series in terms of controls and how the physics feel and whatnot. So we're going to be making this somewhat of a regular series. It's not going to be super regular but it'll be something I do on my pastime. I've been playing this for hours on end at nighttime randomly when while not going to sleep and it's you know it's driving a huge stake in my relationship. <laughs> no I'm, I'm just playing around. It's not that serious or maybe it is I don't know. But um it's, it's still pretty damn fun to play. So we're going to be playing through it today. So let's get into it man already I got the main it's Lloyd Irving from Tales of Symphonia I'm sorry man but that was the best Tales game ever created I had to have the protagonist be my main in this game too bad he's not gonna be in Smash but hey so right now I actually usually turn the music off because I have my own music that I want to play so we're just gonna move this all the way down and what I usually like to do is play with the shonen trio so we're going to have me be Lloyd Lloyd and um, we're going to have the people that I fight against be Ichigo, Naruto, and Goku. Because they honestly have the best skills in the game without a surprise. Because, you know, obviously the creators must have some bias towards the shonen characters being portrayed as amazing. So these guys are usually the most fun to play against. Now, let's have to change the rules up a little bit. We don't want a time limit. Um, we want four stock. We're going to have the item frequency be very low. And I include a smash ball. You know, usually, sometimes, maybe I do, maybe I don't. It all depends. But sometimes I like the smash ball being on. It depends on how I feel. When I play competitive with friends, usually I leave it off because they hate items. But when I do play, some sometimes, sometimes I remember in the past we used to play with the items on. So, you know, it all depends on what we feel like at the current mood, I guess. But I like items being off, but the smash ball being on. But very rarely. Because, you know, it's cool seeing all the stuff for the Smash animations, I mean the final Smash animations being included. Because, you know, I think Sakurai puts a lot of work into those and I want to kind of bring those out when I play. So, let's get into this man. We're pretty much ready here. We're going to go to the best multiplayer level in Melee, the Hyrule Temple. Even though it's not all that competitively viable, it's still a blast to play on. So let's head there. What I'm going to do now is load up my music for my um, thingamajigga. Um, how do I do that? Oh, here we go. Um, okay, here we go. There we go. This is perfectly fitting. Let's go. Huh, okay, I'm gonna show you guys some of the skills I got here. Now, we're playing with all the CPUs on level 9. You know, that's, that's the way I play. No matter what Smash game it is, I'm at the point now where if it's not level 9, then why even bother? The level 9 computer already sucks as it is, so you know. Why, why play with anything less? Level 9 computers suck in my opinion. Okay, we got the Smash Ball. Usually it's not this easy to get because um, Lloyd really just doesn't really have that much skill for the Smash Ball. And Naruto. Believe it, nigga. Okay. Come on. Sorry if I'm not going to be talking as much because I got to really play tactical in order to beat these guys. Oh, you saw that? Did you see that shit? I know you saw that. I know you saw that, baby. Who gives a fuck about the Ichigo? Let's go. <laughs> I've never watched a Bleach in my life. I've never watched a Bleach. Fuck your show. <laughs> Let me make it Come on. Oh, there we go. Now, as you guys are seeing here, this game, if you don't know by now, this game plays so much like Smash, it's incredible. I, I think I'm pretty damn well versed with Lloyd. I, that's the only guy I've been playing with. And hopefully, when Smash for the 3DS comes out, I'm going to main Robin in the exact same way. The exact same way. I want to be nasty with Robin. I want, I'm aiming to be the best Robin player in America when Smash Bros. 3DS comes out. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be the best Robin in America, potentially the world. I'm not going to play with anyone else but him for a long time. Because, you know, you have to really get used to a character's moves in order to bring out their full potential. So the best way to get used to a character and to become sick? Play only with them. That's the only way. Now, in terms of other mains that I potentially may want to do, Palutena, because, you know, I was a huge Kid Icarus Uprising fan. That game held me down for so many months. So, because I like that game so much, I want to pay homage to it. So I'm going to be using Lady Palutena and potentially Dark Pit if the leaks are confirmed true. But we don't know right now, but I'll definitely be using Palutena. I mean, one, because, you know, Kid Icarus Uprising is an amazing series and I want to represent it. And two, Lady Palutena's probably got to be one of the baddest anime chicks that exist right next to Morgan. 
which is kind of funny because they both have green hair, which is a little odd, but yeah, Morgan gets, I think she's currently rated the baddest anime chick out of all, it's, it's crazy. Palutena is up there too, so you know, uh, I, I, need, I need to represent, plus I don't have a female main, I never had a female main in any Smash game yet, and since there's so many viable um, female, I mean, well, I don't know, so many viable um, women in general in Smash now, thanks to um, Lucina, Palutena, female Robin, I think it's extremely good to pick up a female character at this point. So, it's gonna be Palutena. She looks so fucking broken though. Sakurai definitely had some favoritism with her ass. I don't know how I'm playing this reliably while talking my head off. Damn, the movesets here. Alright, let me get into this game. I'm actually fucking around now. Yo, Ichigo is fucking me up. Alright, he got pissed when I told him I don't like this show. Shit. Alright, so Goku right now, as you guys can see, he's in KO Ken mode. And that's a problem, because he does like meter smashes on Jazz when he's in KO Ken. And Goku has the meanest up air I've ever seen. Like, it, it kills you at like 60-70%. It's crazy. And his up B is, is a really good recovery move, but the computer doesn't know how to use that one. Oh, fuck. See, Goku, I mean, even though I was at a higher percentage there, Goku really has some strong moves. Alright, so Goku has two stock, Ichigo has one. I'll finish him off right now. Never mind. Let's go. Come on. Oh, you got him? No, that's my kill, bitch. That's my kill. Oh, shit. Fuck you, Goku. No surprise Goku's up. You see, his up air is crazy. He can combo that. This nigga's looking like Fox right now. Shit, shit, he's got the KO Ken. Okay, we're gonna have to play a little bit of a distancing game here. Let's go. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Let's go, Goku. Let's go, Goku. Oh. No, not, to, not me, not me, not me. Let's go, Goku. Ah, I know. I know it hurts. Ah. Ah. Let's go. Oh, shit. I can't lose this one. Not our camera. Not our camera. Let's go. No! Goku! Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. That's the way it goes down. Oh man, that was a gamble. That was a gamble. 